Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and welcome finally back <laughs> to Bloodborne. Yes, it has been a little while, I know. So, I'm back. Finally, it's been a little while. There's some explaining to do. First off, I think about two months ago, my PlayStation crashed, and I lost all my data. I lost all of it. It was devastating. So I had to start all over again, but that gave me... The, termina the determination to make a new character and make sure, as you can see, a lot of weapons are plus 10. I have every single right hand weapon, I have every single left hand weapon, I have every single piece of gear. I nearly have every single rune, I have every single chalice, I have every single gesture, I have every single key item. Um... Whoops. Bruh. So yeah, I have I nearly have everything in this game. But yeah, so I've been grinding the fuck out of this game and it has been really fun. But the reason I didn't I didn't continue with a new character is just this is way more fun for me. Just way more fun. Just having a lot of shit already just and using different weapons all the time and just Having everything is way more fun for me. So yeah, uh, this episode, I am gonna do the first two bosses, at least, which are a lot of fun. The first one is pretty easy, the second one is not so easy. Well, maybe, I don't know. But, yes! Bloodborne! So, the first boss is is easy, it's the Cleric Beast. And where you at? Where you at? It's very epic, though. There you are! Oh, and I love this boss so much. It's, it's really easy. It's really- Ah! Fuck! Oh wow, visceral attack. What? Okay. <laughs> got him. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. Are you gonna do it again? No, okay, once. Okay. Good, good. Otherwise I would have died. And I don't want to die. Okay, I didn't eat it. Okay. Oh god, screamy screams. Don't give me the screamy screams. Oh god. Oh god! Ah fucking hell. Oh god. I want to hit your head. Um, it's really easy. It's really easy. It's really easy. Uh, it's really easy. <laughs> it's really easy. Wait, why do I have the Chicago on? Okay, I wanted to use the saw cleaver, but I switched to the Chicago and got it. Okay, and that's boss number one. I try. I'm gonna try to do every single quest as well, which is, well, it's doable. It's not hard. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they can be difficult, let me say it like that. Eileen's quest has a very hard boss. Well, it's not a really a boss, it's a hunter, but it feels like a boss because it's fucking difficult. But now let me just open some shortcuts. So yeah, this is the Shikage. This is one of my favorite weapons, mainly because of that. It's a katana covered in blood. It's a katana covered in blood. And it's one of the strongest weapons in the game. And I died again. And this is my bae, my honey. Hi. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. So yeah, I'm gonna do that quest as well, which is not really that hard. The second boss is one of my favorite bosses in the game, by the way. It's a very, very good boss. And the story around the boss is not, not funny. It's not fun. Actually, this weapon is way too strong. Way too strong. Uh, what can I use as well? Ooh, this is German's weapon. You know German? The, the, the first hunter? This is the weapon he uses. It's a scythe, and it's unbelievably strong. This is a very, very funny place. Because these guys follow you. And in the back, there's a guy lighting a huge ball on fire. You go to the side, and they... <laughs> get killed. Fatty McFat Fat. Come at me. Visceral attack, motherfucker. Oh, God. No. Oh, yeah, the pig. 
in the la that I was talking about in the last episode. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go to the pig now and I'm gonna do something very funny that you might not want to watch. I am walking towards the back end of the pig. You fill in the blank. Or... Fill the anus. Yes, I just penetrated that poor pig's butthole. So yeah, now we're going towards the second boss. It's the first boss that you can't skip. It's the ma first mandatory boss. The story behind Gascoin, Papa Guacamole, uh, is very, very, very sad. It's one of the saddest stories from software has ever written. Well, it's, yeah, it's sad, but it's also very... What the fuck? It's... Be all over the shop. You'll be one of them. Sooner or later. And he's scary. And this boss is the first time you... Oh god. Uh, first time they they introduced the parrying uh, technique, where you right before somebody hits his attack, uh, you shoot them with your gun, and then they kneel, and then you can visceral attack them. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Hey! And it's just a very hectic fucking parry. There we go. He kneels, and then. You can physical attack him, which does a lot of damage. Oh god. There we go. Oh god, now the fun part begins! He transforms into a beast! <laughs> and nearly... Oh god, I'm dead. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, fun. Very fun. This gets annoying after a while because it's a long walk. It's a huge walk. Going back. It's just very annoying. Light the fucking ball. Thank you. Are you serious? Ow! It didn't kill anybody? Oh my god. Fuck! Attempt two. Oh, visceral. Ouch. Visceral. Oh god. Oh god. Visceral. Shit, I missed him. Shit. Shit. Oh god. Visceral. Okay, okay, now I have to concentrate. Visceral. Did I get him? I got him! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Woo! Okay. Got him. <laughs> now we're at some place. Cathedral War. So, there are a couple... A couple people. There are uh, some people... I think there are... One, two, three, four... Four people that you can send to Odin Chapel or send to ESFK's clinic. So yeah, and I'm covered in blood. There's one more thing I need to do, which is sending daughter of Father Gascoin uh, to ESFK's clinic. But first, I need to go to ESFK's clinic. So now we go back here. Oh, well, Hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then... If you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. That's bullshit. Because Yusefka was very different before. And now she tells you, like, first off, first she said, go, go away. And don't get people. Like, this is over. It's terrible. Don't send people here. Go away. Save yourself. And now, she says, No, if you find people, tell them to seek ASFX clinic. Maybe even cure them. There isn't a cure. There has never been a cure. Because 
even the fucking church hunters, the, the people who caused this, have been seeking for a cure for a very, very long time. And now she says, oh, I have a cure. Maybe. Like... No. But yeah, this is the the end of the first episode, by the way. I have been recording for half an hour, which is good enough for this, because I've been doing two bosses and some side quest stuff. But yeah, this is Bloodborne episode 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment to let me know what you thought about the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Boy! This is good shit. I love this game. Yes, yes, yes. Woogie 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 bleh.